Oh, I didn't know it was taping. Okay, let's make this a lesson. System of a Down with Roulette. And you know, I had a subscriber request this and I, it was a while back. I'm swamped, man, with requests, so I'm just like grabbing at them as I go. Um, if I get a new subscriber, I may take theirs over an old subscriber because I want them to feel a part of what's going on in the community here on this channel. So, um, whoever requested this, I'm sure you'll find it. Sorry it took so long. You want to drop C for this? I'm missing a high E. It broke, but we don't need it. So me being the professional I am, I'm not going to change the string. I'm just going to play it on five strings. Real smart, huh? All right, guys. So drop C on your tuning. Really cool, catchy, interesting pieces of chords here. 5A, 6B. And the beat's kind of going to stay consistent throughout. A, B, A, A, B, A. So. And... On the A string, pick down. On the B string, pick up. Try to remember that. Kind of a, a, a rule on guitar, and I don't like to say rules, because on guitar, man, rules are meant to be broken. No, but seriously. Because um, people play different ways. But it's kind of a good general rule. Um, for example, if you were already comfortable with your downstrokes, like where you can do them with your eyes closed, and you want to play everything down on this, go for it. But I want you to get used to the motions, and, and get used, there is a, um, a line of thinking behind that process and uh, if you've been playing for a while you probably already know it so A down B up okay and then we move up to 8A and 10B he kind of slides it you can hear a slide in there and once you get so go ahead and slide that slide up to 8 and then go 10B and the beat changes a little bit here we have So when you do the F stroke on the B, then do, go open A, and then go 3A, and then 5B. So we have... And then back to that A, and then slide that up to 6, and then 8B, hit that, back to the A, so we have... So A, B, A, A, B, open A, and then 1A, 3B, back to 1A, and then go to 3A, 3A, 5B, and then back to 3A, and that's, so that's down, up, down, right? And then you start it over. Another, you know, I'll, you guys always hear me rambling about subgrouping and taking little pieces. It's important, man. But kind of outline, outlining what you have coming up in your chord progression. So another thing I'd like you to do, because I was working with one of my private students, Lewis, on this song. Just today, actually the past two weeks, we've been working on it. And the confusing part for him was knowing where the next change was fast enough. So one thing I suggested to him, and, it, and I think it was helping, was to map out the chord outline of... Oops. And try to play it within the, the beat. Two, three, four, two. Four. So it's four count. Two count here. One, two, one, two. So some are four counts, which are called whole notes, a measure of music just for that one chord. And some are um, half notes, which are, are two. So two half notes make a whole note. I'm not going to go on a theory tangent here. But that's it, man. Through a big chunk of the song, you know, you'll have... Let me show you the next part when it does change, which is quite a ways into it. Start it over on the first chord, and then go open A, second fret B, and do the same thing. And then go one A and three B. Do the long, all these are long ones. Same thing on the third and fifth fret. something on the end. Hold on. Yeah, 
I think you stay longer on the 1A, 3B on that second half. But the, the first part you got is spot on. I'm just not positive. I think that's a little longer on there. But it revolves around that. Then there's a solo, which uh, I know the solo, but I don't have the string to do the solo. If you have questions, let me know, you guys. Make sure you tune drop C for this. They're playing it on acoustic, so I'm playing it on acoustic. Um, you can do it on a electric. It's fine. Um, maybe put it on the neck pickup so it's a little deeper, give you a little more of that acoustic tonality. But if you have questions, let me know. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Once you do that, send me your favorite song riffs and pieces that you've wanted to learn. Have them done accurately. Right tunings, right strings and frets. That's what I, my aim is here. So, uh, email me, rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com. Um, if you're interested in the Skype lessons for guitar or bass or vocal lessons through Jolene, um, I have a tutorial on it. So you can check out that tutorial. It has the pricing and everything. They're going good. And it really, you guys, it's a good way to... Uh, to further your personal playing because we can zone in on right where you're at. I can see where you're at. And that's why I'm loving the Skype thing. I didn't think I was going to care for it. And I'm digging it. It is like taking a private lesson. Totally. So, um, and on the YouTube channel, you guys know, especially you guys that have been following me on here for a while, which I appreciate big time your support. But um, I don't just do one style. Um, I'm taking requests from everyone. If it seems like it's a lot of the harder rock stuff, it's... I mean, the main reason is that's a lot of the requests that I'm getting. Um, but I want to cover everything on this channel where this could be your one-stop place, man, for all styles. And that's why I'm doing the drums and the bass and the vocal and the keyboard, although I only have one keyboard on here at this time. It's hard to keep up, but I, I have forever, man, to do it. So, um, anyways, enough of that. But the Sky Blessings are great. Hit me up. You guys know how to find me, either on the Hotmail email or on YouTube. I check them both daily so um let me know what's up also the ultimate beginners guide dvd is ready so um that's two hours of lessons it's twenty dollars type it in my search channel you guys and and watch the tutorial on it they're not really long but it'll explain what the, what it's all about and my website's rockingguitarsons.com so that's coming soon though it's not up it'll be up before 2012 ends the end of the world all right guys spread the word about me if you don't mind thanks for tuning in we'll catch you at the next lesson Thank you.